Good morning, hot dogs. On this Patriots Day, we want to remember 9-11. I'm your host, Litsy, and unfortunately, Ayla is not here today. Now, on to the pledge. Please stand. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Students, check your email and nominate your homecoming court. Nominations will be open until the end of third period today. Now on Sports with Elijah. Welcome back. I'm Elijah. Now on to sports. The boys tennis team continues to struggle through the toughest part of their schedule falling to Lebanon 5-0 last night. Next match is at home versus Lafayette Jeff September 14th. The JV and varsity volleyball teams both struggle Wednesday evening falling to Tri-West but bounced back strong last night to beat Lebanon in three games on the serving of Tara Martinez. Leading the team in kills were Bella Colby and Macy Serrett with six each. And Sydney Wicker with eight digs helped keep the team alive during several long rallies. The JV fell to a strong Lebanon team, keeping each game competitive. Leading the way was Erica Pillian with three aces and 15 digs. Thursday night, the boys soccer team had their senior night against conference foe Crawfordville. The dogs lost 4-1. to one. Coach Butler would like to thank seniors Christian Mora, Uziel Matias, and Rui Garcia for their hard work, time, and dedication to Frankfurt soccer. Frankfurt falls to 5-4 and four for the season and 2-2 two and two in conference play. The boys JV soccer team tied Crawfordsville 2-2 two two last night. Freshman Alex Castro had both goals for the Hot Dogs. The football team plays Southmont tonight. If you can't make sure, can't go, make sure to check out on the ISC Sports Network. And remember, you can still vote for the Colts top five matchups. Voting ends at three today. That's it for sports. Now back to Litsy. Thanks, Elijah. For lunch today, there will be pull apart pizza and salads. Happy birthday goes out to Matthew Balsamello. Great job, Carly Roberts, for getting yesterday's trivia correct. The answer was con. Today's trivia question is, in what decade did trick-or-treating, as well as we know today, start getting popular, par, popularity in America? Good luck to the Lady Hot Dog Golfers at conference on Saturday. That's it for today's news, Hot Dogs. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. I'll see you Monday.